Thank you, Joe Firstman. Thank you. Eugene, this is the scotch on scotch, the penicillin, as yeah. they call it. It's fantastic. It's Shannon Sossman is here, everybody. Thank you for uh, coming over to the, to the desk. You have your virgin drink. Shannon, we were talking. You're from Hawaii, and you moved to, to Reno. That's and then right. you moved uh, down to Los Angeles, and then you were involved. Uh, you love music, I know. Yes. And you were DJing for a little while, and, um, and you're in a band now. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I, I moved out here originally to become a dancer and then everything, right. you know, started doing, you know, to, sort of just wanted to get out of Reno and then was here and, and um, danced for a little bit, did commercials and then I was doing commercials, making a lot of money doing that and, um, and at night, just as a hobby, I would DJ because I, I just liked it and I, my ex-boyfriend at the time, or my boyfriend at the time was a DJ and I asked him and his friends to teach me and um, it just looked like fun and I kind of just... Nothing better than a hot DJ when you walk in. That's fantastic. It's hard to beat for minute mm -hmm. mix and stuff. Did you do all that? Um, no, I actually just, I was very, it was just a hobby. It was very simple. I just played songs I liked. I kind of just did it because I'm, it was the music I wanted to hear when I was out and I didn't really feel like socializing. And then when did the, A Night's Tale with Heath Ledger, I mean, that was such a huge movie. When did that come <clears> into the mix with all these other things? Um, that came kind of right around then. I was actually DJing somewhere and the casting director, Francine Maisler, um, uh, spotted me and she asked me to audition for A Night's Tale and I, and I read for that like five times. And, um, and, then, uh, and then everything is Everything happened. snowballed from yeah. there. Now mm -hmm. you're drinking with me in the middle. Eugene, can yeah. you keep it down a little bit, please? Or... <laughs> and I mentioned you, Wrist Cutters, Leslie Bibb was here. Mm -hmm. That was a cool movie. I gotta stop trying to drink that with that ice block. Yeah, no, stop before you break it too. But I enjoyed you in Wrist Cutters. That was very cool. Oh, thank you. I love that movie. That that's still in theaters. I think it's like barely. It's gonna be gone soon. Basically, a couple. Uh, I don't know. How would you? How do you describe that? It's a love story that breaks down. Uh, that comes to life after they've killed themselves, and the story of the movie moves on in sort of the afterlife. Is that not right? No, that. Um, no. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's no. All, it's almost. No, that's just wrong, Carson. Thank yeah. you, Tom. What's this one? It's just a shot of bourbon. Oh, perfect. <laughs> just a shot of bourbon. Right. I'm right here with you. I'm right here with I you. I know. Maybe occasionally my guy's going to come I in and bring know, me a shot of I bourbon, know. but I'm still right here. It's all this drink talk, and I'm having my... Um, what was I saying? Hey, well, you're talking about the movie Wrist Cutters, and I, people should just go see it. That's all that matters. Yeah, Let's great. talk about the new one that you're doing with Ed Burns. Yes, One Miss Call. That's a Japanese remake of a horror story? Yeah, it's the horror film that is um, uh, about college kids who uh, they receive these voice messages. And it's, uh, basically, it's like the, the, the messages are dated uh, from um, the next day or two days later. And, um, and it's like they check the message and it's the sound of their death or their voice and they're in like some state of terror. Or, you know, they're basically hearing themselves you, die. You pick some interesting movies. How do I you, know. How do you pick these films? I'm not picking, you know, you just, you read something and if it's even semi-interesting, you're excited well, Ed Burns is it. awesome. I like that guy a lot. Yeah, he is. Did really you enjoy working with him? I did. He, he was, um, he just made me laugh the whole time. Yeah. That, there were there were like times where I had to um, ask him to leave to leave to go somewhere else, and I was gonna have and I would rather do it with because he would just make me laugh, and then I'd have to be in this state of terror. Yeah. And that doesn't really work. So. Right. Well, let's check you out in one missed call. Okay. Take a look. Wow. It's okay. It's okay. She's coming for me. She's coming. Okay. Come on. Come on let's go. That is my bad, like this big, this bad padded bra that I'm wearing. It's it. funny, every time there's an actor that comes out here, whenever we roll the clip down, 99.9% .9 of the time they, like, will not look at the little monitor right here. Like, you guys just, by and large, just don't like to see that. Do you feel that way? Um, yeah. Or you notice stuff like the padded bra. Oh, just... yeah, you're, you can see, you're just like, you're seeing every, I mean, besides we, our, t our tendency to just be hard on ourselves in general, something that comes so natural. Right. Um, you're seeing everything else, too, like they use, you know, they use that, and it just, it's, you just shouldn't do it, it's just torture. <laughs> <laughs> you mean acting? No, watching. Oh, oh God, thank God. And Moonlight is on CBS. How's Moonlight's that going? Moonlight's great. That's going amazing. And you I play a vampire it. in that? I play a vampire. I Moonlight. love your selections. Yeah. It really is fun. 
Yeah. One missed call opens on the 4th of January. Wrist Cutters is out now, you should see. And Moonlight is Fridays at 9 o'clock on CBS. Thank you for being a good sport. Cheers. Shannon Sossman, everybody. We'll be right back with Alicia Keys right after this.